Hey guys, how's it going? Um, today I found a question here on the Atlassian community under the Trello section um, and hopefully I can answer it for Anthony here. So he wants to know how would I apply conditional logic in moving a card based on a label colour or custom field if that's not possible to a board slash list specific to that label colour. He says he searched high and low and he can't find a solution so I'm hoping that I can help him here um, and I hope I found I hope I've interpreted this question correctly but if not then uh, it should be useful for other people anyway um, the solution I found and uh, Anthony let me know we can see if we can figure it out if I haven't quite got your question right so what we want to do here is essentially once a label has been applied to a card we want to then move it to somewhere else so move it to another list either on the same board or on even another board somewhere else. So I'm pretty sure this is possible with Butler. Um, so if you're new to Butler, this is how you can create some automations that can run uh, on your board. So there are a couple of options, but in this case, I think what I'm going to try and do here is once the label has been applied, then it's going to automatically move the card. That will be the trigger for, for moving the card. You could potentially do it with, with buttons as well, so then you can add labels and then keep them on your board, but then afterwards click the button and then they would all move at the same time. Uh, I'll show you that next. So, but to start with, let's do them, let's do it automatically. So we're gonna create a new rule. I need to add a trigger. So this for this one, we're gonna do some card changes. So when the green label is added to a card. You can filter for more options here if you need to, or by depending on who has added the label. That's quite helpful if you have multiple people working on the board and you only want this for, for yourself, say. So that's the trigger, we're going to add that, and then we need an action. So the next thing to do is, of course, we want this card to move. So here we go, it's already set up for us, the first option. Move a card to the top or the bottom of the list, and we're going to select today. And here, this is how you could select a different board. So if you wanted to send it to another board somewhere else, then you just click here and you can find the board name there. But in this case, I'll just keep it on this board to show you as an example. So we'll click Add, and that should be it. So this is obviously only for the green label. So if you do have multiple labels, you'll need to create this again. But I can show you quickly just how to do that, like, save a little bit of time with doing that but I mean it will take a bit of time to set this up but once it's done then it should just be done and it will work for, for ages after that so you can copy these uh, automations here so click this button here and in some areas you can edit like this you can change the thing straight from this view but you can't change the label name here which is a little bit annoying but what we can just do is delete that so we're just deleting the trigger and we'll create a new one, so and then here we can change it. So we'll click the orange one and add, and then it has saved the action, so that's good. That saved us a step. And from here, if you wanted a different list, which I think Anthony does in this case, he would want, say, the orange ones to go to this week, then that's created. So we just hit save, and now we have both of our two, two options here, so the green label to today, and orange for this week. So now we can just give that a quick test and just see if this has worked. So I'm going to click hover over a card and press L. That's the way to quickly open up the labels. And we'll add the green one to this card. Okay, and there we go. It's moved it straight away. Easy as that. And let's try this one. And we'll do the orange one. And there you go. So let's move the orange one to the to the, the other list here. So that's how you do it with the rules. So it will happen automatically as soon as you add the label. I can quickly show you as well another option using buttons. So, I mean, I think you could do it with the other options here, like using due dates and stuff. So possibly every day or every like Monday morning, um, move all the cards with the green label to the list this week or something. But another option, I haven't tested that but I think that would be possible as well so a board button might be a good idea 
So here we can create a button which would appear at the top here, like this, and once you click that, then it will perform a certain action. So here we're going to move cards um, by the label. You can change the icon if you want. And here we're going to add the action. So we're going to move some cards. And we want this one here, so we need to move each card and we need to filter for those with, let's say, the green label in this case to the list, and then we can choose our list again. Let's go for done this time. And you, here again, you could change the on the board, uh, so move it to a different board, or, oh, okay, so here's another way, so you could do it, uh, so you can set the, this is setting the due date, so once you've moved that card, you can change the due date as well, but I'm not gonna do that here. So we'll just add that there, and then that should be it. So we'll click save. So move each card with green label to the list done. Okay. Let's give that a try. So okay. Another couple of cards with green label. Here we go. And now we've got our button up here, newly created, and hopefully these green cards will move to this done column. So let's press the button and see. You see down in this corner here you can see Butler working. And there we go. So they've both moved. So there you go, that's, uh, that's how you can move cards around based on the label uh, automatically using Butler. So I hope that helps. Um, and if you have any other questions or anything like this, then let me know and I can see if I can create similar videos. Uh, all of this is up on the YouTube channel. Maybe you're watching it from there right now. If you are, great. Um, please uh, hit the like button if you enjoyed this and uh, hit subscribe if you want future videos just like this one. So I hope that helps and see you next time.